Welcome Pisces to my channel Rainbow Wizard Tarot. Today I will be doing a love reading for uh, Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Please keep in mind that uh, reading uh, is general and might not resonate with all Pisces out there. I could recommend to check out your Moon sign and Venus sign where sometimes there can be relevant love messages. I have uh, meditated and pre-shuffled the cards. So uh, let's go. Oh, very nice. And uh, yeah, just to mention, I don't do reversal cards. Ah, oh, so it's a it's a new union or a union that is blossoming again. There's a, a couple here that is on the same wavelength, sharing the same views, ready to you know to grow this relationship. Again, it can for many it can be fairly new here. Beautiful card, the Two of Cups. And the Knight of Cups, your uh, person have been been proposing uh, romantic feelings towards the, you and towards this connection. There has in the recent past been an epiphany, a judgment call on this, and, and a wake up call perhaps is someone that has been a friend that you're realizing is now uh, a soulmate. I mean, this could be work related, but this is also, um, this is a love reading. So uh, um, that's how I will see it. Again, it could be um, a relationship that has been separated, just come together also, or an, a long-term relationship that is, you know, is starting over again, a new beginning here. Moving away to karma waters here as well. I mean, that could also be, be travel or distance between you two. And there's also feeling victory in this this connection. So crown new Pisces here. There is um, there has been some cups built. So it signifies that you know again it could be that you have been in a relationship or you have been hurt and are ready to you know uh, keeping you know cautious before you entering a new partnership. Or as I see it, this could be a union that there has you know you're reuniting, reconciling here, and there has been love spilt cups spilt in the past and um even though you seeing this as a very present and, and a great union and there is love here you're also taking your time to um you know reflect over this union that there, there could be hurt here and you even if the two of cups is behind you you're not ready to turn around so it could be a time this this period here in the beginning of September that you want to take some time for yourself and reflect and you have been all up in your emotions here as well and that is in regards to to love and it has been a burden on you to to make this choice to you know to be in this situation to have this time out and to have these these burdens within and the conflict within this union um, you are needing that time to to yourself here yeah, to just take some time out to reflect basically and this is a beautiful card the lover so again it could also be a a choice in love perhaps to come together one of you have left another person and chosen and there is again spilled cups here and of course that's also weighing heavy on on this connection then could be related to a Gemini, for instance, but also this is a, a union that has a very strong bond, um, a bond that is very difficult to break. I mean, there's a lot of love and passion here between you two. This is a union that has been requiring hard work. Your your person have been working very hard to to uh, get this union to remain, to get the relationship, um, you know. Uh, you know going on uh, or reconciling there has been a lot of hard work put into this um, this reconnection here based on perhaps that there has been you know turbulence in the past applied to your situation what th those dramas or turbulence and emotions spilled could be but again you know there has been hard work to sustain this connection but uh, in in the current surroundings um, how I see it, there has been an awakening, something has come to light. There might have been uh, secrets come to light where there is, you know, there has been uh, hurtful um, truths that has come, come to you and now you're needing this time out 
but this is all out in the open which is good so when everything is out in the open it's now a possibility to complete these burdens it's heavy but it's over it's the it's the ten of wands and also to to, tra to travel to move away to calmer waters moving away from being stagnant in, a, in your head and moving away from the uh, the the five of cups energy there are two cups behind you and it's seen here that it's mainly some time time out that you need but it's the, the union nevertheless here this is a strong union that is worthwhile investing time and efforts in again you feel that uh, you have been working so hard you put everything into this connection here and this is for many of you as i can see it and you feel that gosh like that's not you can't really do that anymore again um into what, what has what what has been the the issues here surrounding a relationship that could be so many different um scenarios i'm not going to go into speculate later all that i don't really see that is any third parties but we can keep going there is a choice in love but choice in love doesn't have to be a third party it can also be you know choosing to live closer together some sacrifices involved here again a burden and, and hard work and graft here to to make this connection happen but something has at least everything is out in the open now you know everything that is needed to know to be able to decide make the judgment call should we continue should we get our um you know move to the next level however that applies to you but there is victory involved here so that's you know um that's also very positive the signs that i'm seeing so far is gemini from the cups energy it could be someone with strong water in their chart and from the wands here, there could be someone with fire. So Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. But let's keep going here. And the sun. That's beautiful. One of the best cards in the deck here. The sun is shining on this union. It's a time to... If it, it couldn't be a better time to reconnect. The universe is on your side for this union to re-blossom or come together. If something new has started, this union here is a soul, very, very strong soul connection, soulmate, twin flame connection here. And the sun and it is very much shining on this connection here. So that's very, very beautiful. And you're feeling, you know, overall, you know, you, you are almost, you know, very happy here, Pisces. You could be happy and you, you know, you're, you, you perhaps are expecting your person to be a bit more romantic, coming in with more romantic gestures. Perhaps that is stopping you from feeling overwhelmed. Again, if there has been something happening around the relationship where you needing time to forgive and forget on either side, it's really you know all about the timing when your person sees okay is it the right time to to move in with these gestures and if you are perhaps also different different star signs in in terms of water fire or or, or or a bit opposite you can also have different ways of communicating in terms of how you feel um perhaps that's often when it can clash the, the most uh, i find that often you know the the water signs when it comes to love relationship perhaps they are more suited when it comes to dramas because they react very much in a different way versus if you you, you are with a someone especially air or fire that can maybe be a bit more um a bit more kind of direct and a bit more blunt perhaps so it can be misunderstood and misunderstandings the way everything's communicated and resolved so maybe it's an element of that as i can feel it here um also, there has been, I mean, this, this union here is, there, there is a discussions of taking this to a higher commitment. It could be engagement, marriage, you know, anything that's to the next level or when the higher friend turns up, you know, it's definitely to something that is, is, is taking the relationship here to the next level. And maybe that's what you are, uh, you know, that, that has even been a discussion about marriage. Maybe there has been mis under, you know, miscommunication or not even that, but disagreement or so and not been following the, the path together at the same time. Because you are, if you are mirroring each other also, soul, soulmates, twin flames here, it could be, you know, that there, even if that's the best connection there is, um, it could still be 
that there has been some miscommunication and not been there you know, on the timing uh, with with uh, when when to move into this uh, next level and there, there are, perhaps there has been some delays and yeah there, there, there's something to do with this taking the relationship to the next step that hasn't yet come through that's what I feel here it could also be a Taurus surrounding you um, there could be someone with a, again Sagittarius Aries or Leo but you're feeling, um, you know, at the moment, Pisces, that you're feeling, you know, fiery, but you're feeling confident, you're looking good, your person is viewing you as very beautiful, you, you know, look, viewing you as, you know, you've got, <laughs> you've got everything, you know, under control, uh, you are someone that are successful in their eyes, you are someone that people love to be around, you always have great energy, and they're very proud and enjoy very much spending that time with you they you know to be viewed as a queen of wands that's you know the queen that, that that's the queen that everyone wants to be and it could be a, a, from a male perspective but you know that the fire there is definitely someone that's confident and got it all going for them so that's how your person view you so there has been an offer there will be an offer coming in that will make the sun again shine on this relationship here. Perhaps there has been then some delays where there has been disappointments and you're taking the time out to reflect on everything and I'm sure and you're feeling this is so much hard work into this relationship. I'm not sure if I want to continue on this journey. So there is an element of doubt here for you, Pisces. Um, but there is the uh, the Ace of Pentacles, which, which is definitely a strong love, love offer coming in to take this relationship to the next level, whether it is then to, you know, start seeing each other more seriously or moving in together. For many of you, I think it is discussion of, you know, that future, that solid future, the marriage, you know, to celebrate your connection here. And there is victory around the situation for most of you here as well in September. This person here could be someone that you have known for a long time coming back from the past if it's a connection that is moving into this two of cups it could be someone that you have known and then suddenly you appear in your life and you're going into to this connection suddenly and it's just you know the sun is shining everything is beautiful and you just realize you know this is this is the one this is a soulmate connection it could be uh, as, as well but you are ready to forgive and forget to move to move ahead with this connection that's how i see it later in september and we have the ten of pentacles so really beautiful card and strong for a relationship card it means that this connection here it's um it's a connection where you're looking to settle down to build a home to grow a business together you are seeing the future on the same path and you very much want would like to see each other you know become become successful and flourish become that power couple perhaps but this is definitely talks of a long-term commitment again it could be that marriage proposal coming in is it the right time as well let's not forget we 2020 is a difficult year for most in terms of career progression for work for everything and in, in that material world because everything has slowed down for a long long time but th this could also have been a bit of a burden that if you have been in a long-term relationship that there's many plans that hasn't come through and it has caused a burden on the relationship this year it's caused fights it's caused extra hard work but despite of all those surroundings this is a very strong connection and there's love here and also to advise you to perhaps go back to the time that you met but go back to the time that you met and be a bit more like those people especially if you've been together for a while when you need to maybe re-incline that romance where you had a lot of responsibility in a relationship as well where you don't haven't had a time to n nourish that love that you have so that could be an advice for some uh, otherwise if this is a new connection or if this is for someone that is not in union at all, this union will, will most definitely happen in September. Your person is reaching out. This is a solid offer. This is a past life connection. The lovers is here. The two of cups is here. So Pisces A, 
the energy of a new beautiful beautiful love connection is here or for others to take your relationship to the next level and re incline that romance the two of wands your person could be living at a distance geographical distance this could have caused the hard work caused the spilled cups or you, you, you have plans to, to travel together, but your person has chosen one person. It, it, also coming up on the lovers, if there has been a situation here where someone had to leave someone, and it has also caused strain on you, Pisces, that you have been waiting for, for your person that is coming out of a relationship, your person is choosing you, your person holds one, one he's looking your direction, he, uh, is has only got you eyes for you basically and the choice has been made and the choice is in your favor oh wow so we have also the four of wands this is celebration this is a wedding this is a family party this is plans this is plans for travel this is a beautiful card and for the two of cups for the lovers for the six of cups for the ace of pentacles the ten of pentacles to come up with this it's it shows that this is a very very strong this is the kind of relationship everyone dreams of being in and in spite of the five of cups energy the nine of wands the ten of wands and the the pentacles cards here the eight of pentacles sorry it's it will all come together the love is so strong here that you are willing to forgive and forget but with love also comes hurt but it seemed that you will win here Pisces you will win this connection back you will get this reunion it will be reconciliation if it's a brand new relationship this will flourish in September and again here um, it's a four so this is uh, is also an element here of perhaps holding on to some holding on to some arguments, turbulence, holding on to a situation that your person is not willing to let go of, or you are not let it, ready to let go of, to take this relationship to the next level. Underneath the deck here, we have the seven of, I'm not sure if I oh, get the right position here, but seven of uh, wands as well. So still this kind of battle to get the relationship to the next level. Again, it could be, situations around when it comes to to finances plans that that has been postponed if there has been a choice in love where there of course then are also um you know have to be patient and there is of course hurt if there has been an element of third party and, and waiting for your person to make a, a decision or, or for yourself to make a decision of course there is then spilled cups here as well but there are two cups left there are two cups in the center so this is worthwhile fighting for um i'm going to um clarify on the four of pentacles here please give me a few additional messages love messages for pisces for the month of september thank you very much So, okay, so the justice, there will, okay, so there's an element of something being unfair in the past, therefore there's a bit uneven on the cups, could there have been a divorce around you, you're waiting for your person to leave someone, to reconnect, of course if that's happened, it's required a lot of patience and hurt, if it's been a, a third party situation on your side, but it's justice are, is coming in, so this period of hard work, waiting, uh, some anxiety, stress around that is worthwhile. And your person's coming in as the King of Cups. So your person is ready to give you all of their heart and love and time. And your person is there forever. It could be someone with a strong Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces and other Pisces in there uh, as well. That that comes up uh, underneath the deck here is still this uh, ten of sorry nine of um, swords. So there could be some you know anxiety. Your person is 
still stress getting out of this, trying to balance everything out. There's there are still things going on to resolve, to get complete clarity to move on. But this connection here is without a doubt very, very strong, beautiful cards here. My advice would be it's very much worthwhile hanging in there, especially as the offer is coming in. Your your person's coming in to with a romantic feelings, which will make you happy. There will be a solid offer, there will be a, a renewal within the relationship, there will be news within this relationship that is will be celebrated it will be celebrated amongst your friends and family they will be very happy for your union very happy for the next stage you take in the relationship if it's a marriage or anything else you're celebrating perhaps a, even a pregnancy a, perhaps a new business anything like that you'll be doing it together and it's beautiful new beginnings here so just uh, going to get some uh, extra love messages. So your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So again, here, perhaps you have been wondering, is this a soulmate? There's been dramas. I don't know. I don't know if this is the soulmate. Yes, it is your soulmate. The cards here are very, very strong. Then it's uh, financial issues of factor in your love life right now. So again, it's from the pentacles. These are positive outcome, but from the... The, the four of pentacle and eight of pentacle here there's been a lot of hard work and waiting and anxiety around the financial situation to take it to the next level so if there's celebrations involved travel involved of course that's finances involved also so it without a doubt that can cause a strain on the relationship or difficulties from your person moving away from another relationship into the relationship with you pisces but that is and time has come to clear your energy, release your ex. So yeah, also if there has been, you know, for your person here, if this is related to a divorce, it is for your person to let that go throughout September, but this also will be finalized if there are any divorce or, you know, it has been brought up by the judgment here uh, as well. So this will all come up towards the end of September the offer and everything will conclude towards the end of the month you will have a very strong uh, feeling about this relationship where you stand with your new person or current relationship but it's very promising and positive cards and this is definitely a soulmate union this is a relationship worthwhile hanging in there for and uh, there is great great offer and news and romance around you pisces and you're looking good as well you're looking amazing you've been taking time out to look after yourself and you are blossoming so pisces i'm wishing you a fantastic september if uh, the messages and reading resonated please uh, like and subscribe to my channel and uh, thanks again for watching bye for now